Hello, I'm Sik Solo. Welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday and I'm starting a new series, uh, if you like. I'm calling it Sample Saturday because I have gotten so many samples from so many nice people. from Some from vendors, but most of them from sellers selling me some vintage racer, putting a couple of samples in, and friends, other YouTubers and, and just friends of the channel sending me stuff. So I have all these and uh, half a box more. So more than 40 different samples. And today is the sample that Patrick Croman sent to me, the Oki Shaver. When he sent me the Treat uh, Gym Blade Racer, he sent me this sample too. And a Colgate hard soap from the 70s. But this is the Topps Taylorville Bond Street Lime Cest, and today it will be used for the first time. Okay, the racer for today is the Occam's uh, Enoch racer. It's stainless steel, and this is special because this was made for me. You see? I don't know if you do. It has my name on it here. So, in it, I have a prof uh, feather professional blade uh, on its second use. The brush for today is the Razorock 400 aluminum handle, special edition, blah, 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 uh, noir um, synthetic brush. Uh, not, sorry. And the Giant Shave Co, the Big Mark. Um, so that's it for today. Let's get this started. So I will be using on Saturdays, I will be using the samples that kind people have sent. Some of them I purchased myself in uh, Shavedash, shavedash.com. I believe it's a British uh, guy. He sells samples. So if you have a soap you would like to try, maybe he has it and you can order it from him. This is the Lime Cest from Taylor of Bond Street. Uh, and it's very limey, I like that. It's almost like, you know, some of the Turkish colognes, Turkish after splashes, that some people like, oh, this is very, it's, it's well hydrated, <laughs> just say. So. I have a almost four day, day stubble. Uh, so, Oh yeah, that's nice. You know the lemon scent is, uh, is so, or lime for that matter, citrus is, uh, is, is relaxing to me. I don't know what it is, but it just is. Look, look, look at this. Look at the shine on this. Man, this is nice. So, Tell me, do you like use, using samples? Some pe I know some people don't. They say that it loses the fragrance and because it's it's been aired and oxidized and stuff, the scent is, is different and the, the, um, the leather is different. I don't know. I will be giving these a shot. Okay, so the re uh, Occam's uh, Enoch Razor, named after one of David's sons, okay. So let's give this a go. I don't know if you hear this. But... I believe this racer is... modeled after or inspired by... the Asylum RX. That is no longer in production, but I believe it will be soon. Uh, this is very nice. It's a three piece. The head comes apart. The top here goes up and the bottom here goes down when you twist the handle. Um, you can attach any normal shave handle to it. I like the handle that's on it, even though it's 
It's a thin handle. It has this little foot, foot down here. So it's very easy for me to grip. This razor, I need to re remember the angle because if I don't, I just ride the cap, you see, like that. It's a nice razor. And I like the fact that it has my name on it, of course. I ordered this at their homepage. I think it's called classicshaving.com. And I think I paid $15 to have my name on it, so. If you're anything like me, you like your name on stuff. The soap is as any other tops. Very slick, easy to leather, and I call it a soap. Of course it's a cream, but you know what I mean. See here in the thing that Patrick sent me, see? I've had this for two or three months, I think. So since August actually, because that's when I started the single edge August. Okay, so let's have a feel. Oh, I love this scent. So relaxing. Let's have a feel. Oh yeah, more work, more stubble to attend to. But it was an almost four day stubble. So I feel the blade in the razor, but it is by no means an aggressive razor, I, I would say. But I am, you know, leaning to much more aggression as I get into this hobby. Uh, so maybe a year ago, I would have thought this was a very aggressive razor. And, but, but to me now, It's a comfort razor for me, almost, you know. Once you remember the angle, so you don't ride, ride the cap too much, it's just great. Oh yeah, a little trick. I dropped the blade into the sink. And I've done that. I've dropped stuff into the sink before. But what I have now done is I have these small uh, super heavy magnets that I have put inside the drawer on the drain. Uh, there is some screws on the drain. So what happens if you drop anything metal? It stops at the bottom, uh, top of the drain hole. And that's what happened to this blade. It actually worked. I was so unfortunate to drop the base cap, the base plate, sorry, of my vector into the drain and I have to take it I had to take it all apart you know to find the piece luckily hidden inside the curve of the drain uh, you know the saxophone part <laughs> as we call it in in Danish you know so so that's why I, I thought well how can I avoid this from happening again so I have placed three super strong magnets inside the drawer under the sink, uh, on the drain. So whenever I drop anything, uh, magnetic, it will just stop right at the top. And that actually worked. So. This blade tried to escape me.
and it didn't. So. That's, I've, uh, that feels like that's about it. So let's have a feel here. Yes, cheeks are done. A little down here. Okay, so the usual suspects. Let's just make a the priest color or neck cast pickup shape here today. Okay, get okay. That's about it. Plenty residual slickness on the top, so you know I I know and love this soap base, the creams, cream base. So I was expecting this. I didn't know the scent of it. I have the grapefruit, and this is late, uh, less fruity and more lemony, if that makes sense. Less sweet in the scent. It's much more direct. You might add in the scent. Okay, Captain is in. So please, everybody, be ready for the service announcement. This is your captain speaking. Please be seated, fasten your seatbelt, put your table in an upright position, uh, unless you're sitting watching this on a television with a coffee table. Don't turn <laughs> the coffee table upside down. Close your eyes and put the cloth to your face. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. This is awesome, man. This is awesome. Okay, get over here. Remember, don't scrub, just pat. Okay, so I have this. They're Turkish Colonia 80%. Uh, it's a Turkish lime or le lemon, sorry. It's called limon in Turkish. And it's made in Istanbul. And this is a liter, a thousand milliliters, and I bought this for $24 on eBay. Of course, this is too big for me to handle, so I put it into this spray bottle here. And I tell you this smell. This is my family's favorite smell of all the ones I have. My daughter likes to take this and just spray it into the air of her room to get that lemon Wonderful, oh, I need a little more of this. A little more lemon scent. Oh, I love this as well. And it's so incredible cheap. A thousand milliliters for $24 on eBay. Man, hard to beat. And shipped here to Greenland, I think it was $8. And that's extremely cheap for this. Is, well, this is a kilo, right? Okay, the uh, rest on the elbows. Okay, uh, the aftershave balm for today is this, the Akko, also from Turkey, and it's the Volcom Sensitive. It has um, a sweet, it has that cologne, you know, citrusy cologne scent that a lot of colognes have. So, and it's actually in the realm of the lemon aftershave and the lime zest. So, so everything is lemon, lime, or citrusy, and that's wonderful. 
Good that. Okay, so we used the Occam's Aram, the Occam's Enoch, with the Feather Professional blade in it. We used the soap sample from Patrick, the Oki Shaver. Check out his channel, I'll link it below. Uh, we used this, uh, the Dudu uh, Colonia Limon from Turkey, aftershave, and the Arco Sensitive to finish it all off. The brush was uh, the special edition aluminum uh, Razor Rock with the Noir, the soft, I think, not, and the Giles Shaving Co. Uh, big Mock. Okay, that's it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. And that's about it. You know why we do this? It's because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. That's it. Six solo, out.